What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregos TV Daily. Today is Independence Day here in America, so it's going to be a very slow news day. And if you didn't know, this is the day we declared our independence from England. So screw you, England. Just kidding. Don't worry about it. I love you, England. Actually, I want to go there very bad. Really bad. It's one of the places I want to visit the most out of all the countries. That and Japan for sure. Anyways, guys, let's get into the tech news. We only have one story today and it comes out of Australia. Samsung is being sued by the Australian consumer watchdog for misleading Galaxy phone water resistance ads. They went on to say, the quote says, the ACCC alleges Samsung's advertisements falsely and misleadingly represented that Galaxy phones would be suitable for use in or for exposure to all types of water, including in ocean water and swimming pools, and would not be affected by such exposure to water for the life of the phone when this was not the case. So basically, Samsung has shown ads that have the phone in like swimming pools and I guess ocean water. Haven't found the ocean water one, but definitely swimming pools as you see on the screen. Um, and it's not rated for that because on their website, it says Samsung has denied warranty claims for customers whose phones were damaged after being used in water. It then points out that Samsung's own website mentions that the new Galaxy S10 series is not advised for beach or pool use. Now I have dipped my Galaxy phones in water, but it's fresh water. It's like literally from the sink and just putting in that and whatever. But I've never put it in the pool and I've also never done it in the ocean. That sounded dirty, but you know what I meant by it. So. I don't know, maybe, have you guys had issues with swimming with your phone in the ocean or in the pool and it, you know, not working, then you try to return it to Samsung and again, they deny your warranty claim or even fresh water. I've heard that before where like people have just like dropped it in water, you know, fresh water or whatever and then the Samsung denies the claim even though it is IP rating. It is. So let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had an issue or if someone you know has had an issue with returning their phone after a water disaster with their Galaxy phone even though it is IP rated. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a fantastic Independence Day if you're here in America. Otherwise, just have a fantastic, is it Thursday? Thursday. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.